Should you opt to go for a two year fixed or five year fixed? I get this question all the time. And to be honest with you, frankly, I've had enough of getting this question. So I'm going to deal with it now on this video. So stay tuned and let's talk about whether it's best for you to fix for two years or five years and how do you make up that decision? Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Please do like and subscribe and hit the bell icon as normal. Right, I get this question a lot. Do I opt for a two year fix when I'm going for a mortgage or a five year fix? Now, there are other options out there, guys. You know, you've got tracker deals, you've got a three year fixed deal that not many people talk about. Um, but in this video, I thought we'll talk about the two most common um, types of questions that I get, which is, uh, whether it would go for a two-year fix and five-year fix. So let's deal with residential mortgages first, okay? And I'll deal with the buy to let afterwards. So when it comes to residential mortgages, there are a number of questions that I ask and a conversation that we have with clients often when they're unsure about what options they should go for. So uh, let's talk about those options. Generally, uh, two-year fixes um, are uh, cheaper. Okay, so when you're with a price cheaper because essentially the, uh, the lenders doesn't have, don't, they don't have to um, take out the funds, borrow the funds uh, for a long period. So um, they can price it more competitively to five year fixes. So when uh, talking to clients, I always know, want to find out what their, their long term goals are. Okay, are you going to buy this property and maybe move on in two to four years time? You know, are you going to, um, is your personal circumstances going to change? Is your job going to change? Um, are you thinking of adding to your family sort of um, structure? So are you going to get married? Are you going to have more children? Um, do you need to be near other schools? Do you need to go to other transport because of your job changes? So those are the typical sort of conversations we have around circumstances but then you've got to look have the conversation around the financials as well okay let's assume you go for a two-year fix um, what are you going to do is your income are you envisaging your income going up obviously your debt's going to come down but your income's going to go up if you go for a two-year fix so if you think right um Pai, to be honest with you um, i think I'm, I'm going to absolutely smash it for the next couple of years um and my job is pretty secure um you know, it may be worth you going for a two year fix simply because your income is going to go up um, and you'll have more options. Also, um, you may think about um, loan to values. So if you're sitting at an 85% or 90% loan to value right now, um, a five year fix may be quite expensive. Okay, so at the moment lenders are doing, I think a 90% uh, loan to value deals are like over 3%. 3.25, 3%. Now, on a five year fix, where you know you can get 1.5% or 1.6, 1.7% with maybe 15% deposit um, on a two year fix. So, do you really want to fix yourself up for five years just because you didn't have a deposit five years ago and you know you didn't have that additional 5%? So, you've got to look at where you are as well. So, in terms of um, are you going for, if you don't get me wrong, if you're going for a 60% loan to value, so which means you've got 40% equity and you're not going to move and you think this is the property that I'm, you know, this is I've been working towards, this is my family home, then it really makes sense for you to go for a five year fix because interest rates are all time low. Um, they can't really go much lower than this. So, you know, it's, it's a good time to hit a longer fixed time period. If you think you're going to be, um, uh, you're, you're going to be stable in the next five years. Um, also pay attention to early repayment charges. Okay. Um, you know, you've got some lenders that will do a flat early repayment charge. So they could say 3% flat for five years. And I've been stung on that myself personally. I took out, uh, and I don't know if they do it now, but I took out, a, um, I think it was a buy to let mortgage at the time, and I think it had a 3% flat fee uh, with um, Santander 
was it three or five percent? I can't remember now, but um, I had to pay like something like fifteen thousand pounds early repayment charge because I wanted to sell the property. So I've been caught on this myself. Um, but there are some really good products out there. So there are some five-year products out there with stepped early repayment charges. So five percent in the first year, four percent in the next year, three percent in the next year, and they, there are a few that will do two and one. But generally, there are some that will do five four and three and then right the way through to from the third year onwards the year five is three percent so uh pay attention to that um i've got a product at the moment and i'm doing a deal right now for a client of mine it's a five-year fixed residential rate with no early repayment charges so very good i think the rates are around about the two percent mark um a good equity i mean he's got a lot of equity in the deal however very good deal you keep you know you can have your cake and eat it basically because it gives you the flexibility although if you went for a similar deal out there um, you probably pay half a percent um, half a percent uh, less so it's important uh, you look at your strategies and you're aware I mean this video is really making you guys aware of your options okay and what you should really be considering when you're looking to fix in uh, something else to think about is around product transfers so what a product transfer is is when you go for a lender um, they will uh, after your two-year period you've got uh, an option of going and switching to the lenders another product from the lender now often it's a very quick process whereby the lenders don't need a new valuation and they don't need um, new legals. It's just literally swapping the products around. So do they offer that facility direct or via the broker? Um, so it's worth having a discussion with your broker about such products, okay? Um, so that's on the residential side. Obviously, when you're looking at the five year fixes, really, it's more about sustainability, you know, how long you're gonna be there for, what happens in terms of adding some people say look I'm, in all honesty we're thinking of planning say in two years time having a having a baby and i really don't want to go through the pain and the hassle of running affordability again and running through my income and verification and i said well if that's the case and you think this is your property hit a five year hit a five year then at least that's going to be easier um, however it really comes down like i said uh, on the product transfer side of things often um, uh, lenders are uh, just switching you to uh, products um, however you know you've just got to make sure that uh, and this is I suppose a natural disclaimer rather than running lots of disclaimers on there you know a mortgage is for long term okay you've got to have affordability not just for now not just for the next two years not just next for the next five years but for the next 25 years 30 years 35 depending how long the term is so you've got to lay out a strategy of what you're going to do and almost be um you know have it planned obviously things change but have such things planned because um at least you know what you can and can't do um some people say do you know what i'm going to have some inheritance coming in in two years time so i don't really want to be tied in i'm going to dump a load of money in there are products out there that are flexible in terms of uh, um, you know offset accounts um, uh, there are obviously tracker rates that don't have any early repayment charges and they could be two years or they could be lifetime trackers so don't just look at the two year and five year you know there are three year fixes out there there are no early repayment charge products out there and um, offset is really really good and not many people are using offsets and it's a fantastic way especially if you're a high rate taxpayer um, it really does work on an offset um, so you know if you're on both big bonuses then you know you'll need your own strategy of working out your own strategy because you want to pay down your mortgage most residential mortgages come with a 10 percent overpayment facility use it it's really really good i use it myself um you know set up a direct debit for just uh, you know maybe 100 pounds or 200 pounds or 300 pounds more um because if you don't be disciplined with it you're not going to dump that money in um, but if you've set up a diary debit and make sure you've done your calculations that it's up to 10 percent uh, annually uh, and it really does help um, right so that's the residential side of things if you're looking at the buy to let side of things it really comes down to product affordability okay um, and also again your longevity of, the, of your plans so 
what we will do is I will run through that probably in another video because otherwise I'm going to bore the hell out of everybody here. Um, I will talk about uh, the buy to let side of things in my next video and I will put the video up somewhere here. Um, but I hope you found this useful. Um, please do like and subscribe. Let me know what your strategy is uh, below in the comments. Did you go for a two year fix? Did you go for a five year? Did you go for a no early repayment charge? Or maybe a tracker? Or maybe an offset? Um, what do you think is, is the best strategy out there? Um, there is no real answer in terms of, you know, when people say to me, Pyam, should I go for a two or a five year? It's almost a conversation. And once we've had this conversation generally, they sort of know they're somewhat, yeah, no, actually, I'm going to go for the two-year. I'm going to go for the five-year because of this, this, this. So um, I hope you found this useful. Um, please do like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.